Hello class, um, I tr previously tried to do a quick little uh, uh, video on, you know, Canvas and you know, kind of navigating through it and apparently I didn't have my mic on so I apologize for that. I'm going to have to redo what I just got through doing and I want to first thank Tyler, he's the one that caught it. So I was able to take it down in a short amount of things. So my, my boo-boo, my air, dumb me. So anyways, uh, just to show that we're all, uh, you, know, you know, pretty much uh, human, right? So uh, first off, uh, for you that do not know me, uh, it's probably a big portion of you because it's a introductory class. And this, uh, this class is an online class, but I thought I'd uh, kind of do a little video uh, probably from the rest of the semester on and kind of go over some of the subject. It's not, kind of just enhance a little bit. I'm sure you're doing well. Yeah, and if you're not doing, uh, having struggles, and I, I might see it through the progress reports, I might be reaching out to you, see if there's anything I can do to help. Just remember, I'm always here to help. I'm not here to dictate things and just okay, do your work and be done with it. I want you to do well, and I want you to be very good at what you do. and. Hopefully this is a career that you uh, are, you know, wanting to, you know, get into uh, the automotive repair or the repair industry in total. And I do have a lot of experience in the repair field. I have been a independent uh, mechanic uh, for most of my life. Uh, I've uh, part-time taught since about uh, 1988 and uh, full-time uh, took on the full-time position here at Santa Ana College uh, going on seven years ago and been very happy uh, about what I've done and I've always been very successful at uh, you know whatever part of it I was doing. I, uh, like I said, I was an uh, independent mechanic, worked for independent shops and uh, I worked for my grandfather for quite a few years. I uh, decided to go off and do some, you know, some other shops and then uh, it was about 88, I decided I'd, I'd love to, well, actually a, uh, an instructor friend of mine, and it was one of my instructors at the time, thought I might be good at teaching because I was always helping out in classes. So I took on a part-time job, I started off in doing just Saturdays at an introductory class. It was back when it was called Auto One. and. Uh, Kind of progressed across um, uh, the same uh, friend of mine, you know, a colleague now. Uh, he uh, said, hey, I need some help with the smog program. Would you be interested? And I started teaching into performance and uh, electronic se uh, sensors and stuff like that. And I got my smog instructor uh, certification and I've been doing it for quite a few years now. Anyways, and primarily what I teach uh, at Santa Ana College is your imaging performance, air conditioning. Uh, pretty much I can teach you just about anything. I am a master certified in ASC under the uh, auto side, medium heavy duty side, and also in the transit side. So I've got three uh, master certifications uh, in the ASC plus some other uh, upper levels. Uh, as we go across to. I'm also, uh, you know, certified uh, in air conditioning uh, on your 608 and 609, which is two of the biggest certifications you need to have in that. And uh, uh, miscellaneous two different certifications as you go across. So that, that's pretty much about me. Uh, I uh, love what I do. I love teaching. I love watching people uh, get it and growing and it's an, it's a lot of fun to walk into a shop and say hey Mr. Rudd I walked into a Mercedes dealer uh, one time with a, a new instructor that uh, was hired at uh, Santa Ana College and all these students started clamoring on me and say hey Mr. Rudd look what I'm doing and stuff like that so that was fun anyway getting back to subject at hand uh what i wanted to do for this uh kind of addition or this beginning video is of course the introduction part uh get you a little bit about me but also i wanted to go over a little bit about uh, canvas and canvas is a very uh well laid out uh, uh you know you know kind of uh, learning management system i i like it i didn't like it when i first started getting into it but i do like it now 
I, I was so used to Blackboard and Blackboard was my baby. I knew everything about Blackboard. I was actually one of the mentors for Blackboard. Now I'm one of the member, member mentors for uh, Canvas. But I wanted to go over a little bit about uh, Canvas just to get you familiar. If, you, if, you're, if you're doing great, that's fantastic. Uh, you probably don't need to watch the rest of this video, but you can. Uh, maybe uh, something you can share with me and I can share with you, uh, vice versa. So, later. so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Uh, this screen is gonna show you uh, the Canvas. Uh, let's make sure I got it set up right first and then I'll go ahead and share it. If I, don't, if I do it wrong, you're gonna get a different screen that I want you to see. Uh, so this is, should be similar to what you see when you uh, log into. You know, yours is gonna be a little bit different, of course, because you may have more classes you're taking on campus right now. So if you look, you can actually see the announcements right up on top. It talks about our class. You see my, uh, my picture up there right now. And then on your right-hand side, you should see your to-do list of what you should be doing um, the other thing, uh, of course, you know, it, it should uh, get smaller as you kind of do things and, and, and your to-do list should be going away. So you do have some notifications. You can view course by calendar where you can actually just say, okay, what classes do I have and what do I, you know, what do I need to be doing as we go across like that too. The, uh, the other side I want to kind of point out too is on your left hand side so on the left hand side a lot of good stuff it you know of course your dashboard going into your you know the courses you might have and then it kind of breaks it down to the different um, parts of the course your calendar again almost like you had over on the other side and then you have uh your inbox now the inbox is very important to me uh your inbox is going to give uh, is where you need to contact me. If you need to get to hold, hold of me directly, so maybe it's a personal question or something like that, please feel free to inbox me, as they say, and I will respond as quick as possible. Uh, you know, I've already had, you know, like uh, Tyler just inboxed me and I got to where I pulled down this video, uh, the video before this one, and then uh, I can actually communicate with you. Now, if you have a, uh, a personal matter or a, you know, something like a grade or something like that, please you know, reach to me directly. If it's something general, this is what I wanted to give you a little bit of help on to is, uh, let's, let's go ahead and uh, you know, as, as far as um, how to communicate with your class, you know, the rest of your classmates too. So this is kind of a, a double thing. Um, what I wanted to do is, you know, push out to you that if you go to the, on, on just a little bit over from your left, just a little bit, you can notice that it says syllabus. You can go over what we, uh, we have planned and stuff like that. Your modules, you know, what, you know, instead of, you know, just going to the bottom here, you can actually go through modules, go all the way down, kind of great information on the module part two. Then you've got your grades, which I really, we'll, we'll talk about this in a, a second here. But then I have a section called discussion. So inbox me if it's a personal thing or a, you, you want to talk privately with me like that. But if it's a general type question, you know, you know that maybe one of your classmates, classmates might be able to help you with, uh, I encourage you to use discussion uh, uh, groups. Now, this is one thing that I put up and it's, uh, it is a student lounge and learning support. And what it's great for, if you kind of click on here, it's, I set it up for you, the class. And you can communicate between the rest of your classmates right here. And um, one thing I want you to get used to, and then in our industry, it's very, very important that you network. And it's important that you uh, talk to your colleagues. You will get better and you will uh, do, do better in this field if you have networks of people. You can't remember everything. You can't know everything. And the best thing to do is to have some kind of support mechanism. 
And one thing I tell a lot of my students, they ask me questions and they say, hey, Mr. Red, how do you do this? Hey, Mr. Red, I'm good for one year here. I'm good when you're not here too, but I'm just one of those support mechanisms. There's other people out there and you know it's hard to believe, but they're smarter than me. Yes, of course, there's a lot of smarter people than me, but they can help you, uh, your colleagues can help you uh, along the way. So make a network, start developing your networks. This is gonna help you not only in uh, repairing, uh, getting things, but also getting into jobs. It's very important that you know somebody and, and know when the jobs are coming up. And this is the best way to do it. So discussion group, if you have a uh, question that is general uh, about the class and like that, say, uh, hey, the class did Mr. Red said he was gonna extend the due date or, hey, I didn't quite understand this uh, assignment and you know, maybe I didn't explain it correct, you know, correctly or you know, deeply you know, you know, enough that you could understand it, but please feel free to reach out to your classmates. If you go down and you hit the subscribe, so all you have to do is hit this reply, you can type in a question for the class and hopefully somebody gets back to you. Myself and Mr. Gasway are also gonna be, uh, you know, going all through this, uh, uh, you know, kind of monitoring this, uh, you, know, you know, discussion group here too. And if we don't see somebody respond to you, we'll definitely try to jump in there and give you the answer to the question. So this is going to be for more, more like general questions. When you have something that's more personal or, you know, uh, you want to talk to myself, uh, please feel free to go to the inbox. Okay, so that's what I kind of want to talk about on that part. Now, the other part, the inbox going to discussion groups is, of course, your grades. I want you to be very mindful of your grades. And uh, if you feel like uh, you didn't get credit for something or something uh, wasn't graded, please, a couple things. One, go to your Canvas and see where it is. If it still says a zero, there may be a note to it. it Maybe. May uh, for instance, you send in, uh, you thought you sent something in like a certificate and it was not uh, actually attached. I'm going to leave a little note there. If there's something I couldn't see, I didn't understand, I'm going to leave, leave a little note. I want you to get as much of that grade point as possible. So I'm, I'm not just going to, you know, you know, blow you off and say you didn't do it right. I may have, oh, please uh, do this and I can update the grade. So keep that in mind also. Uh, like I said, modules, syllabus, like that. The announcements, I uh, put up announcements all the time. Please uh, look forward to those. And there's actually a net online tutoring. Uh, please, uh, you know, if you're having some other, you know, I, I would really like for you to reach out to me or Mr. Gasway on, you know, if it's a class related thing. If there's some other things that you need help with, there's actually that tutor. I don't use these uh, conference Zoom. I've had some issues with it in the past, but I do uh, use Zoom, but it's my own personal account that I use that uh, it helps. Uh, it's this, let's just put it away. When I would uh, use conference Zoom, it's, it may have been part of me again too, but I would always uh, put in the uh, times and the dates and then uh, when it sent out the notifications to the students, it would be totally different you know, uh, time. You know, like I'd put down at you know, eight o'clock in the morning and it ended up to be, you know, it, it would send you that it, the, uh, you know, it, you know I, I corrected the Pacific time too, uh, but they would send a notice at three o'clock in the morning or something like that. All right, so I don't use that as much. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is kind of go through a little bit of the structure and how I lay things out in the class and maybe helping you understand it a little bit, uh, kind of my way of thinking and my way of learning. So you know, again, always feel free to reach out and say, hey, Mr. Red, I think this would work better. I'm always improving the classes that I have. And they have improved over time, and I really listen to students. So let's just say we're, you know, okay, this week is module five, which I kind of 
you kind of want to look at module per week. And that, that doesn't mean all my classes are module per week. Sometimes there's module that lasts for two weeks. And sometimes I have a modules that only lasts for like half a week. It just depends on the actual class. But in this class, it's pretty much module per week as we move along. So if I hit module five, I open up to something like this. And if you look, the first thing you should be uh, clicking on is an overview, uh, which is this module overview. This module overview is going to give you a little bit about what is planned for that particular module. So it gives you kind of an idea of what uh, you know, we're talking about right now, or, you know, on this module, we're talking about engine designs and we're talking about gas and actually diesel too. So I want you by the end of it, and this is a minimum to actually, you know, be able to explain the operation of the engine commonly used in the uh, modern vehicle. So this is just a brief basic thing. I hope that you can understand by the end of it. And this is my goal. I'll give you more but it's not only gonna be this that I say, okay, you should be at least at the minimum be able to do this. So then it gives you to be successful, you know, you need to complete the mo this module, you know, it, with you know, the other students will be able, you know, should, you'll need to do this just to get done, okay? Uh, and do a good job at it. So I have discussion groups every week and this is uh, part of uh, education code uh, and you need to be able to uh, do, you know, you need to be, have some interaction with student, other students. So this is where the discussion groups come in. You have interaction with me through actual, uh, the progress that you're doing, your quizzes, and, and right now me uh, actually doing these little videos on top of it. So I, I know it's not really required for you to have a book, uh, but because of certain things that came about since we put this program together, uh, one of the things is uh, I used to use a lot of Holderman uh, website, you know, James Holderman, a great guy, uh, but he started understanding that he can make money off his website. It used to be free. I used to point students to the website and uh, he started charging per person. So I decided, you know what? That's not right. I went ahead and got myself a membership to it, but I really feel that you need to read or have a book in, in the midst of this too. Uh, some of the instructors are going for an online um, uh, different program. I really feel that the Pearson Halderman stuff is excellent. So I'm going to be sticking with the book part of it. And if you can get the book in an e-form, you can actually get in a hard copy. I like hard copies myself, but that's totally up to you. But, if you, if, but I'm gonna try to supplement as much as possible. But you, if you can get the book, that would be great. You don't have to have the newest, greatest, you know, sixth edition. You can have the uh, fifth edition. Some of the chapters lay out a little bit different, but still, this is gonna help you. And, how that does help is when you get into this view part, but it starts talking about the PowerPoint. PowerPoint is a supplemental. And on these PowerPoints, I'm trying to pull as much as I can with some videos of the different subject we're talking about too at the same time. So this week we're uh, going on gasoline engines and also diesel engines. And then you have to be able to pass, you know, you know a few things. I'm gonna reformat some of this, but, uh, the you know, you quick quizzes, I try to do quizzes on that particular unit or that actual subject. And then, you know, per subject. And it's, a, you know, five to 10 questions on each. And hopefully you grasp and you can master this before you get into the quiz. The quiz is one time, one time only. Whereas the quick quizzes, you have multiple times actually taking that actual quiz. So this is where I think it, it benefits you by uh, kind of not memorizing it, but if you get a question wrong, you can go back to the book and then you can look it up. Oh, okay, I got it now. So you go back and retake the test as a quick quiz and then you master that actual section. That's what I kind of had things planned out for. So after you, you know, get into that, uh, there is, uh, you know, I give a introduction page page on the subject and, and it pretty much tells you what chapter you, you should be reading. 
and then we uh, the PowerPoint. Now the PowerPoint, you're going to see that I'm going to use this in uh, the actual uh, different sections I'm going to be doing videos on as we go across. So uh, here, this is actually gasoline, and this is right out of the book, and it, it goes through. And if you just kind of put your cursor on top and you kind of scroll down, it goes through the different types of that actual, you know, <laughs> that actual section right there. All right. So, and we'll be discussing this in a, a future video in, in a little bit here. All right. So, and then of course, when you get into the next part, I put up a video just a few minutes ago, a couple videos, one on uh, gasoline engines. And these are a lot of times they're just going to be animated. They're not going to be any you know, uh, sound to them. But if it does have a sound to them, I want, you know, if, if it does have speaking, I should put it that way. If it does have speaking, it should be closed captioned. If you hit the CC on the lower corner here, it'll be, uh, it'll give you the verbiage going across and you should be able to follow up accordingly. And then you've got uh, your kind of quick quiz. So this has got 10 uh, questions to it. You get 10 points for doing it. It gives you 30 minutes to do it. You got five attempts to get through this. Some of my other classes, you get two attempts, but this particular is an introductory, so I give you five uh, you know, attempts to it. And notice how I tag this, folks. If you look and you see that it goes right back to the student lounge. So if you feel, you know, hey, I didn't quite get that, you can actually talk to your uh, classmates. You, again, uh, Mr. Gasway and I will be actually going through uh, monitoring this and this is, you know, uh, to help you understand and get through the whole process. All right, so this is what I kind of wanted to go over a little bit with you, kind of navigating through it, what my kind of, um, kind of thought process was about this. Uh, as our uh, weeks go on, you know, next week we'll be talking about a new, some new subjects, and I want you to do well. And, like I said, and I stopped uh, sharing for right now, but what, like I said before, I want you to do well. And if I can help you in any uh, way or form, I know Mr. Gasway is the same way I am about this. Uh, we want you to do well. We want you to be successful in your job and all. And you'll notice that we'll be using SB2 to talk about certain things like, you know, building a resume, you know, and, uh, you know, interview skills and ethics and uh, actually the industry and stuff like that. So keep that uh, going. We'll talk more about that as we go along. I think uh, my next, I will be doing a video shortly on uh, engines and talking about gasoline engines. And then I'll also talk a little bit about diesel as we go across. All right. So uh, like I said, if you have any questions, please for, if it's a general question, get it into the, uh, discussion group. If it's a, uh, a direct question, you know, yeah, it's personal or something like that, uh, please get in uh, touch with myself uh, if it's something to do on online or either way uh, and or get a hold of Mr. Gasway. Okay, uh, that's it for now. I will be talking to you soon. Take care of yourselves.